In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen, dearly beloved in Christ, and Father, Emmanuel, Awea. And I'll like share with you a touch of God's love, that's a short reflection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of uh, Tuesday, 27th November 2023. The readings are taken from Daniel 2, 31 to 45, Daniel 3, 57 to 61, and Luke 21, 5 to 11. The theme of the reflection is how to prepare for the end times, how to prepare for end times. The gospel says that some people were talking about the beauty of the temple of Jerusalem and Jesus told them that a time will come when it will be completely destroyed. And they asked him when that will happen and the signs, when it is about to happen, his reply was, take care not to be deceived because many will come using my name and saying, I am he, the time is near at hand. Refuse to join them, and when you hear of wars and revolutions, do not be frightened, for this is something that must happen, but the end is not so soon. Then he said, Nation will fight against nation, kingdom against kingdom, there will be great earthquakes and plagues and famines here and there, and there will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven. Beloved, perhaps the people thought the Jerusalem temple was so magnificent that it could never be destroyed. Similarly, there are still people who consider certain things in the world and they conclude that this world will never end. But Jesus told them that the temple would be destroyed. And truly, the temple was destroyed in the year AD 70. Then it seems they wanted to know if it will mark the end of times. Similarly, we still have people who think that the end of the world is going to be marked by terrible events. And Jesus told them that false prophets will deceive people about the end times and many terrible things will happen before the end suddenly comes. And truly, this prophecy has been fulfilled too. False prophets have deceived people several times that the world was going to end, but the world did not end. This makes some people question if the world would ever end, and so they are confused as to how to prepare for the end times, and some don't even believe that this world will ever end, so they are not preparing for it. Jesus says we should not be deceived or afraid. What we should do is to live according to his words. If we live according to his word, we will be living in him. And so no one can deceive us or destroy us, since he cannot be deceived or destroyed. Therefore, to avoid deception and fear, feed yourself daily with his word and live according to it. This is how to prepare for the end times. This is a fulfillment of the first reading. In it, Daniel, Prophet Daniel, told King Nebuchadnezzar his dream and its meaning. He said, You, your majesty, are the golden head, and after you, another kingdom will rise of silver, not as great as yours, and then a test of bronze. There will be a fourth kingdom, hard as iron, as iron that will crush all the earlier kingdoms. The feet you saw, part clay, part iron, are a kingdom which will be split in two, but which will retain something of the strength of iron. The feet were part iron, part clay. The kingdom will be partly strong and partly brittle, partly weak. In the days of those kings, of those kingdoms, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom which will never be destroyed, and this kingdom will not pass into the hands of another race. It will shatter and absorb all the previous kingdoms and itself last forever, just as you saw a stone, and tied by hand, break away from the mountain and reduce iron, bronze, clay, silver, and gold to powder. The great God has shown the king what is to take place. The dream is true, the interpretation exacts. Beloveds, this dream implies that the kingdoms of earthly kings, that is the kingdoms of gold, silver, bronze, iron, and clay, will come to an end. Whereas the kingdom of God, symbolized by a mountain, 
will last forever. Therefore, if we don't want to end with ethnic things, we better stay in the kingdom of God. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to prepare well for the end times. In the name of Jesus, be a member of God's kingdom. Amen. Can I share God's love by subscribing to this YouTube channel and sharing or discussing this message with others? The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. May Almighty God bless and protect you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.